Hi, this is Scott Greenwald from JoomlaDirect.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Kotoba Joomla template standalone package. If you're looking to install the full demo package, please take a look at my other video. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is unzip the, uh, the zip file that you downloaded. And inside of that folder, you'll see a file called Kotoba underscore umaster.zip. This is the file that we're going to be using. So let's go into our Joomla administrator. And for this demo, I'm using just a, a vanilla Joomla site using uh, the default sample data and uh, one of the uh, one of the default templates, Bees 2.0, I think. So here in our Joomla administrator, we're going to install that zip file just like any other template or extension. We're going to the extension manager. I'm going to choose the file. We need to make sure we choose the right one. Do not choose the master package. Choose you master. And you should uh, you should see this message saying the template was installed installed successfully. Next, go to the template manager, and here it is. It's it's going to be called U Master Default. That's that's the name of our Kotoba template in your system. So once you open that, you can go ahead and configure all the settings, the template settings. Um, I like to turn on template compression. It speeds up the template. Um, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is configure your module positions. So if we go back to the site, actually let's go ahead and make this template our default now. Now if we go back to the front end of the site, you can tell that the Kotoba template has been selected but it's we're missing a, lot, a few items such as the main menu and some of the other modules. And that's because the module position names are different than they were on the uh, on the on the previous template. So next, we have to go through and assign modules to the correct positions. Now, for for a complete listing of module positions and a demonstration, refer to the demo site I have up here. And under features, just select module variations, and this uh, this shows you all of the possible module positions that are available. You can also take a look at just clicking on features and these these two images down here theme layout at the bottom of the page will give you a general overview of how the modules are laid out and here's another little tip uh, find out all the all of the available module positions on your template inside of your templates manager just click on options and under the templates tab make sure the preview module positions is enabled save that close and once it's enabled we can go on the front end and type in after the last slash type in question mark TP equals one and we'll have a little uh, overlay of all of the available module positions and, and the module position names and this will give you better idea of where your module positions are located on the template. Okay, so I'll just go through just an example of setting up one of the module positions. So let's 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 get our menu in place. We'll go into our extensions module manager. We're going to filter this by menu. This will only show up show the uh, the modules of that are menus, and I believe this was our our top menu on the uh, on the default template we had before. So let's change the module position. I'm going to select template U master, and in U master the 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 module position for the menu is just called menu. Save that. There's our menu, and we can go. We can use the uh, the demo as a guide. 
publish more modules into the various module positions. Back in the template manager, you can you can change some more options. We have we have profiles here where you can change the uh, some of the colors of the fonts and the headings, the menu fonts. You can change the width of the temp of the uh, template and the site itself. You can change the widths of the of the sidebars and percentages. You could turn on the um, responsive features. We're pressing yes or no and responsive if, if you're not familiar responsive means your site will adapt to any size screen so if it's, if it's on a mobile device it'll the site will adapt to that screen without having to zoom in and out so I definitely recommend checking out some of these other settings on the template playing with playing with the settings until you can come up with a configuration that works for you if you have any questions or problems with the template, feel free to reach out to me on joomladirect.com. And make sure to check out the documentation at demo.joomladirect.com slash docs slash Kotoba. You'll find a full list of features and more instructions and details on how to set up the template. And that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for downloading and we'll see you next time. Okay.